Hi! Today I want to talk about starting your Lolita wardrobe. Getting your Lolita wardrobe together at first can, it can be a lot of work. So I just want to give some quick tips on how to do it as efficiently as possible. First, I'll talk about buying your first piece. When you do buy your first piece, you want to make sure that you really love it and you're not going to want to turn around and sell it. If you do turn around and sell it, you're going to lose money. You'll still get back some of your money, but you will lose money, and that means it's going to take longer for you to build up your Lolita wardrobe, which is what you're trying to avoid here. You want to do it as quickly as you can. So it's best to ask if you experience Lolita about their opinions on the piece you want and the store you're buying it from before you buy it, just to get a better idea of how you might feel about it later and how the store might end up treating you. So when you do get your first pieces and start building up your wardrobe, it's best to stick for with one color scheme for your first two, three outfits. Imagine you're buying your first Lolita outfit and you buy black bow, black dress, black shoes. Then you buy your next outfit and you buy a pink skirt. Well, now you have to buy another bow, another bow and another pair of shoes. You have to buy a blouse. If you want to have sweet accessories, you're going to have to get all the sweet accessories. And that's a lot more money than if you would have just bought another black outfit. So that's why I say for the first two, three outfits, you might want to stick with one color scheme. In that line, if you want to do Sweet Lolita, you might want to get white shoes for your first pair of shoes because then for your first several outfits, white, white shoes match almost all Lolita outfits. They can even be worked with some gothic Lolita outfits, depend, depending on the shoes. If they're really sweet, it might look a little weird. But white shoes do match most outfits, even if they're not the best color for the outfit. They still work. And you're also going to need a petticoat. So a lot of people, when they're first starting, they're just going to go ahead and get their first outfit from one place, so they go ahead and buy their petticoat from that place too. Well, this often results in an overpriced petticoat. Usually doesn't have that much poof. For example, Bodyline and Anna House, their petticoats aren't that expensive. Well, Bodylines might be a little bit, but both of those hardly hold up a skirt at all. You're, if you bought one from those places, you're definitely going to want another one later. So instead of buying one and then buying another one, you should just buy a good one the first time. Now, I always recommend going to thrift stores to look for petticoats because you can usually find a wedding petticoat or square dancing petticoat that you can easily alter to the Lolita shape. And you don't have to be great at sewing to do this because you can do it with safety pins usually. You can do it with just safety pins and or scissors usually because no one's going to look at your petticoat. It's underwear. So you don't have to worry about making it look perfect. Now, it's, it's really just a good idea to check thrift stores for anything. You're not going to find a fully coordinated outfit, so that's kind of out the window. You might not even find something Lolita every time you go. Probably won't. But if you find a Lolita blouse that's really pretty for $4, in my opinion, that's worth like five trips to the thrift store. So it's always worth looking, especially if you're on a budget. So lastly, if you get your first dress and you don't have your petticoat, you don't have shoes to go with it, don't let that ruin it for you. You can still wear it out and have fun and whatever. Just remember that if you post it online to let people know you already know you need this or this and nobody should bother you about it. So that's all. I hope if you're working on starting up your Lolita wardrobe you have lots of fun with it. And that's all. Bye!